Hello and welcome to this uh, ASMR video where I will be looking at a very old newspaper um, that I have for some reason um, dating back to, well I say newspaper, technically it's the BBC's Radio Times um, from the United Kingdom, which is where I live, in case any of you don't realise that. And this is the BBC's Radio Times from Christmas 1973. What it does is it, this is like uh, the TV guide in America. Basically, it just shows all the TV listings for the week ahead. However, at Christmas they always show two weeks, so it's a bumper issue. They still do it now every year. Well, they do it every week, actually, the Radio Times. It's been going since before I was born. Um, in fact, I think the Radio Times has been going every week since the 30s. Um, but I only buy it at Christmas. This one my dad would have bought for Christmas 1973. And I'm just going to have a little flick through it. I'll probably do a few videos just flicking through this, looking at random bits of it. On the front, um, if you are British, you will recognise the two Ronnies, Ronnie Barker and Ronnie Corbett, and Morecambe and Wise. Ernie Wise and Eric Morecambe. The two big uh, comedy acts of the day. I'm just think, trying to think of an American equivalent. Maybe Rowan and Martin, is that right? Rowan and Martin's Laughing. I remember watching that as a kid. Um, possibly similar to that. Uh, these two pairs. And they had their own separate shows, the two Ronnies and Malcolm and Wise. So I'm just going to randomly flick through the pages and I will probably no doubt do some random flick throughs Uh, again, for in future videos. What's going on there? Uh, yes, yeah, so 22nd of December 1973 to the 4th of January 1974. Price, 10 pence. 10p. Uh, nowadays, I think uh, the Christmas Radio Times costs about £5. Back then it was 10p. I was, how old was I? I was two and a half at the time. When this, this came out, let's move it along a little bit. So, as I say, I'm going to skip past pages because I'm going to just do general flick throughs. See, on, on, um, on the Christmas edition of the Radio Times that you get now, you get about 150 pages of build-up of uh, adverts and um, articles about the TV shows on the Christmas. Um, about 150 pages or something. Uh, here, there's only about eight pages. Oh. Gene Kelly there. Stepping out with Gene. It was a nostalgic reunion for Gene Kelly when he went back to the MGM studios in Hollywood recently to meet his old pupil Frank Sinatra and prepare for the Frank Sinatra special marking the end of Sinatra's two-year retirement. Okay, so Frank Sinatra retired and then unretired himself. There's uh, Paul McCartney with, who's is that, Pluto? Bluto. 
uh, Pluto. And I forget. Actually, if it is, is that Pluto? No, it's not. It looks like, um, I think maybe it's Pluto. If it is, that's my, uh, my dad's favorite um, Disney character, Pluto. If that was his name. Oh, it says Goofy there, of course. Oh no, hang on a minute, with occasional visits from Goofy and Pluto. Oh yeah, so I can't remember which one was my uh, dad's favorite, Goofy or Pluto, I'm not sure. Sunny and Cher. Uh, and programs for the 22nd of December. World Cup skiing from Austria. Doctor Who. Look, it's telling you here it's in colour. I remember this as a kid. The Radio Times would tell you which programmes were in colour because so many of them were not. Doctor Who. John Pertwee, of course, the Doctor back then. A four-part story, The Time Warrior. I, I know that one. A four-part story by Robert Holmes. I think that's the one where... I'm not going to read it. Is that the one where... Um, let's see if I can remember. When the, Som the Somtaran went back to... Uh, 17th century England during the English Civil War. Sontaran went there in order to um, pick a fight. I think the Sontarans were like like um, the Predator from the Predator movies where they just sort of travel around uh, the galaxy uh, trying to find worthy opponents to fight. Um, maybe that's where the makers of the Predator got their idea from, because I'm sure that's what the Santarans were, uh, were doing. Oh, Middle Ages, okay. Trapped in the Middle Ages, the Doctor hunts for the missing scientist. His search leads him straight into the hands of Lynx. Lynx. Yeah, Lynx was a Santaran, and actually there's a picture of him there. I grew up with um, the next Doctor, mainly, um, Tom Baker. But I do remember the John Pertwee, some John Pertwee episodes before Tom Baker took over in about 1975, I think. John Mills. Is that Mick Jagger? Yeah, look, that's Mick Jagger. We weren't Beatles fans. We thought it was kind of dumb. We were Stones fans. We kept pounding on tables and shouting, Stones, Stones. Okay. Very good. I glanced at that and I, I immediately thought it was the Albanian flag. I don't know if you've ever seen the Albanian flag. Um, it's my favourite flag. <laughs> A little bit of trivia there. It's my favourite flag, the Albanian flag. It's like two, um, like two birds, uh, back to back on a, a black birds, back to back on a, not black birds, but birds of a black, um, in colour. So sort of birds of prey or phoenixes or something, um, eagles maybe, back to back on a red background. The West was one. The epic story of the great American adventure, the conquest of the West, is mirrored in the fortunes of one pioneer family. Does it say when that film was made? Must be one of the, well it is, it is a classic Western isn't it from the 60s. So um, this might have been its first time on terrestrial TV in the UK, possibly. Williams and Carry On Films. I'm just flicking through 
again, not covering everything because I will revisit this paper. There's too much in it, it's too good to just do in one video. White Christmas, so on Christmas Day and you know, Christmas Eve, Boxing Day, New Year's Day, but um, most importantly on Christmas Day, there would always be the big Christmas movie. Less so now, of course, because for the last 30 years, satellite TV has taken over. Um, but back then, you saw the big movies on BBC and ITV, but ITV are not in this because this is just BBC magazine. So the ITV listings are not in here. Remember, BBC to this day does not have adverts. It's publicly funded. Still managing to do that in modern times is incredible. But yeah, the big movies here, uh, White Christmas. Um, is that in the morning? Yeah, that's the morning, 11.35 Christmas Day morning in 1973 was White Christmas. Bing Crosby, Danny Kaye, Rose, uh, Rosemary Clooney, and Vera Ellen. Queen's Speech, of course. 3 p.m. live every Christmas day. She's been doing that since the 50s, I believe. Still doing it now. The Mike Yarwood Christmas show uh, comedian. And there's from the same two from the front cover, Morgan and Wise, doing their Christmas show. Oh, The Odd Couple, now that's a famous American film, famous American pairing, Walter Matthau, Jack Lemmon. The Odd Couple. After his wife has asked for a divorce, TV news writer Felix Unger visits his divorced sports writer friend Oscar Madison at his vast litter-strewn apartment, where the weekly poker game is in session. Oscar, the untidiest, worst organised man in the world, invites Felix, the world's tidiest, most domesticated male, to move in. With, um, I believe, Walter Matthau playing the messy one and Jack Lemmon playing the tidy one. That would fit in with the sort of characters they played in films anyway, if it was that way around, I think it was. Of course, the amazing thing with this is that the cover is in colour. Um, that's actually quite something, the cover of this magazine. Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry cartoons would have only been about 20 years old at that, at that time. I undoubtedly looked, well actually no I didn't. I'd have been two and a half, so I wouldn't have looked through this magazine or this paper. Um, but once a few years after this, I would have. But I probably, I probably touched this newspaper magazine um, back then. I probably touched it before I was immediately told not to touch it. Laurel and Hardy. That was on TV a lot when I was a kid. Doctor Who again, part three of the uh, Time Warrior story. Bruce Forsyth Generation Game. this video at this particular point, Monty Python's Flying Circus, and I will return to it on another video. Look at some more interesting things in there. If it doesn't all fall apart on me, that is. Okay. 
thank you for watching uh, thank you for listening and i will see you oh if you'd like to subscribe i forgot to mention please do very happy to receive subscribers um but yes i will see you on uh, the next video uh, whatever it's about thank you very much